Yeah, Admiral got second in her pool. She actually lost to Schminkeldorf. So, um, yeah, I'll try and get the challenge link from Swift soon. So, stay tuned for that. I think they just called for a neutral start or something. Um, yeah, let me get the challenge link from Swift really quick. I'll do that later. Back to the match. A reset by Admiral, and that's going to be a wobble. I'll try and like hum as many, or like sing as many songs I know that are 200 BPM or whatever it is. I just remember watching some European tournament that Tomber was in, a very good wobbler, and basically they just kept singing the chicken dance every single time he got a wobble. Admiral, from what I've noticed, plays a kind of aggressive ice climber. She's really in your face. Doesn't just, I know some ice climbers players that will just like always try and throw out their decents whenever they can to go for wobble setups. I know other ones that are like very zony. There's a lot of different interesting ways to play this character. And that's going to do it. So one that's obviously in this matchup, you just got to kill Nana like ASAP. <laughs> Really take every opportunity you can to make sure she doesn't recover, to make sure that uh, you separate them. But then Sobo can come with his own kind of suite of troubles too. If you don't really know what to look out for, um, if you're not DIing your throws the right way, if you're not, uh, or if you're getting caught by his dash attacks or up throw chains, then it could be a bad time. Shakes off the down pressure with a quick down smash. Unfortunately, Admiral was rig dashing a bit too much there and got caught off by an F smash. A nice quick kill on Popo. Oh, and that risky shield pressure with a missed L cancel is going to get him wobbled. It can be so hard to L cancel the ice climbers because of the way their two shields stick out. It can really mess people up. A nice down smash to get out of the wobble. That's really the best way to get out, in my opinion, is the down smash. That you know Admiral's going to be looking for one more wobble to see how the stock off. Is this going to be it? The down air? Oh, down throw down air. This is that that combo. I think Nana jumped a bit too high. Admiral keeping herself safe. All it takes is one grab, though. She seems to be really running sort of all over the stage. Oh, no. F smash sends him in completely opposite directions. This could be bad for Popo. It's a really intense match. One grab could do it, but uh oh. Oh, Nana comes to the rescue. Actually ends up jabbing Falco to stop him from going after Popo. That might have been a guaranteed down air. This is looking bad for Popo. Oh, uh, hate to see that kind of thing happen, but Walnut takes it with a power of 69, so first game goes for him. My ears don't deceive me. It sounds like they're going to Fountain of Dreams, yes. Down throw down air, and that's going to be a wobble. Down throw down air is a good way to sort of set up for the wobble if Nana is a little bit decent, because during Popo's down throw animation, it gives her some time to get back, and then you can input the jump as the down throw is finishing off. So if you're not going to get the wobble right away, it's one thing you can do. And I technically don't think it works on any character, like it's not guaranteed on any character, but most people, you have to DI it extremely precisely, and most people don't quite know how to do it, so. Oh no, messes up the wobble timing. But good stage position nonetheless. Not down smash. Admiral ended up grabbing the edge before he was knocked too far away, so he managed to make it back pretty safely. Got a nice back air out of shield. Admiral maintained a good center stage control with that down smash. Alright, well, I'm not trying to finish off Nana quick, but Popo's gonna get a free hit in him. 
the other thing you have to be careful for. You really want to hit nine away, but at the same time, you have to keep yourself safe from Popo, because, you know, that's the one the player can actually control, so... <laughs> Sometimes not a connect with some bait. All right, good solid play from Walnut, play from Walnut so far. Emerald knocks him down. Gets a tech chase. Is she gonna keep following up on this? Uh, tech chasing can be hard sometimes, especially against Falco. I think he's probably the hardest character to tech chase in the game. Not only is his uh, tech roll extremely fast, but he has a lot of options on make up with shine and spot dodge and that kind of thing. So. That's going to be a stock. Oh, the platform doesn't quite manage to mess her up. I wonder, have to wonder, though, if it comes back up too soon, if it'll, like, separate them, or what the deal is with that. I've never actually seen it happen, but not enough time in between. That's going to finish off the stock. Solid wobbles from Admiral so far. I'd like to see uh, Walnut maybe use shine and down tilt a bit more. Uh, believe it or not, down tilt can be kind of a good tool in this matchup because it pops them up and ice climbers have a really hard time coming down. So. Get some leverage off the down airs. Doesn't quite manage to finish off now though. He just throws out some areas and unfortunately none of them are really connecting. Yeah, just a lot of a lot of missed moves. But he could be putting himself in a better safe position to be getting something more guaranteed. Hey. Kick in the face to the Eskimo, he's going to have a hard time. Ooh, I thought he might have a hard time going back. But. All right, Admiral's got both climbers back into play, so one grab. That could be it. Nice back there. Notice Admiral doesn't really uh, put up a lot of like walls like Fly does. She's more inclined to sort of just run around the stage and try and react when she gets a chance. But a nice F smash is definitely going to do it. No way Falco has enough recovery distance to make it back from that. Admiral takes a quick chug of some kind of Starbucks drink. And let's see what kind of stage they're going to for game three. Ooh, the jacket is off. It is like 500 degrees in here, so that is completely understandable. This place could really use some air conditioning. But they go to Pokemon Stadium. Interesting choice. The ICs have a lot of space to sort of move around on the ground here, but at the same time, the transformations are definitely going to favor spaces in this matchup. So Falco's going to have a lot more mobility when the stage starts getting weird, and the ICs just can have a lot of trouble. But a nice wobble. Got them directly on the edge of the stage. Open up that percent. And a nice down smash from Danny. Best way to break out of that. <laughs> Mana puts in a few jabs to try to help her get back on the stage, but unfortunately it's going to cost her her life because uh, Falcon got a little bit mad at her for doing that. Again, tough tech chase follow up there. Admiral F tilted Falco, but she's not quite at the percent where she can knock him down, so can be really tough to poke out these early percents. You can get some stuff off a of grab. If you do like a grab up there, you can follow that with a dash attack sometimes or an up air, but definitely be a tough matchup, especially if the fact is locking things down with lasers. Uh-oh. Stuck in the corner. It's bad for Admiral. Yeah, she really had nowhere to go there. No, I see some quite a tough time on this stage. All right, some solid combos so far. Great walls. Really like to see that. Unfortunately, it might cost Mana her life. But she's going to make it back on stage safely. Is she going to be able to finish off the sedge guard? No, the weird edge of the stage probably did her no favors right there. Nice down smash. Just catches Falco uh, doing a little bit laggy Miss Darius there. It's going to be a very costly mistake. Oh, no. There goes Nana. But Admiral's getting some good hits off so far. Managing to find sort of the gaps in um, Walnut's pressure. Walnut's just got to make sure he's connecting more moves and um, 
not throwing out unsafe aerials that are leaving with a lot of landing lag. Even if you out cancel it, it's still a, uh, something that can get you grabbed, which is not what you want in this matchup. Oh, Nana just aggressively back throws, but a great jab reset. So Walnut's down to his last stock. Admiral's got the two ICs together, relatively low percent. All takes is one more grab. A quick roll desync, but that's going to get Nana kicked a couple times. Ends up throwing Falco back. Um, I see Fly and Anita go for the back throw sometimes. This will get a little tech chase mix up, so I guess that's what she was going for. Alright, this stage might work a little bit better for the ICs. Falco can get some serious combos on the middle platform though, so we'll see. Oh no, she has a. Oh, and a jab reset. And that might be the set. But she's gotta be careful. There's a weird lip right there, and there's a tree up there too. But, yep, that's gonna do it. Admiral takes it. And a close 2 1 set over Walnut. Well, 